This video will take a look at saving information from your Behringer Xair uh, digital mixer uh, so you can save the settings that you've set up uh, for later recall. So let's say that you've got your Behringer Xair series uh, uh, mixer, in this case a Behringer XR18, and you've got it connected to a computer either wirelessly through Wi-Fi or through uh, an RJ45 cable. Now, what happens when you get everything set up and you want to save that information just in case you want to recall it later or because someone else is going to use the mixer in the meantime and you want your information back after they've messed with the board? Well, when uh, the, the device first shipped, you could save a scene. And so all of the mixer settings uh, for all 18 channels, uh, all the buses, all the effect settings, everything about how you've set up that board can be saved in a file called a scene to a computer. So the mixer connected to the computer, communicates with the computer, saves that information, and then that information can be loaded back in at a later date. So whatever the, the, the current setup of your, of your board is, you can save that scene and then recall it quickly and easily uh, in five to 10 seconds. Well, what happens if you're not connected to a computer? What if you're just using the mixer on its own? Later on, a new functionality was added in called a snapshot. And just like you can save a scene to the computer, now you could save a snapshot to the internal memory of the mixer. This mean that what means that whether you're connected to a computer or not, you can now save that information internally in one of 64 slots. Now the advantage of a snapshot is that it loads in very quickly. So with two mouse clicks and about three seconds, you're into your new setup. So if you're in the middle of a performance and you're moving to a new song uh, or something is changing in the service, uh, a snapshot will allow you to mute a whole bunch of things and uh, uh, bring up other things all at the same time. You can preset it up to be exactly as you want it to be before the service starts. And so in just a few seconds, uh, you, you make the change to however you want it to be. Uh, you know, it might take you 10 seconds to mute a whole bunch of stuff and bring sliders down or change sliders around. This way it can all be done automatically by the computer in just a few seconds. And a snapshot does that very quickly. But you only have 64 slots. The advantage of saving to a scene, it's a little bit slower. It takes 5 to 10 seconds sometimes. But... Uh, you can save as many scenes as you want, uh, as much as you've got hard drive space for. You can email them back and forth. So if you set up something uh, in a particular way and you want to back it up, store it, burn it to a CD, email it to somebody else, you can do whatever you want with the scene file. It's like any other sort of file, uh, like something from your word processor or uh, Excel. Uh, anything you want to do with it, you can do with it, pass it around, save it, back it up, whatever. So... A snapshot and a scene are the exact same thing A savings of the current setting of the mixer, but one is internal, a snapshot, the other is external, a scene. What if you've got five different scenes and you want to save them all together? Well, that is what a show is. So this is going to be a video looking at snapshots, scenes, and shows and figuring out how all of them interact with one another because there are some idiosyncrasies here about how they work. So here we have the main screen of our Android app from Behringer. And the first thing we're going to want to do is click on the folder icon that I'm highlighting right now. And that is going to bring up another screen which will allow us to look at scenes and get access to shows. So here we have the uh, page that comes up when you click the button that we highlighted on the last page. And so here we've got uh, a number of uh, different things going on at the same time. First of all, uh, you see in the top right corner uh, the word shows. And that is a button you can click on. We'll get to that in a minute. On the left upper, we've got current show, my show. So that's saying that uh, the show that we're currently looking at is my show. We'll, we'll talk about what shows are in just a minute. But below current show, you can see the scenes. 
And so these are the various setups that you can switch between uh, using this page. And then you see channel saves. Now, if you want to switch from one scene to another, and you want to recall everything about a scene except for a few channels that you don't want changed. So let's say your main podium mic for the pulpit is on channel 16. And whatever that's set at, you don't want it messed with. Well, you can select under channel saves channel 16. And then when you recall all the rest of the information, the information for channel 16 won't change with the recall. So you can isolate particular channels that won't be affected by any scene changes. This can be very useful. So you can have uh, one scene that is for when your uh, microphones and instruments are all off and only the computer is running. So you only have that one sound available, All everything else is muted. You can have another one uh, where the computer is active and the pulpit is active for when somebody is at the podium speaking. Everything else is muted. And so with uh, a couple of clicks, you can very quickly move uh, to that scene. Then you might have another scene where the band is up, but the pulpit mic is down uh, and maybe the computer is off or maybe you want it on, who knows. Uh, so you can set up different scenes for different purposes. And then let's say there's a particular song where you want very different instrumentation than normal. You don't want the piano playing, you do want the guitar playing, you don't want the bass playing, uh, and you want two of your four mics muted. You can set all that up and then save it as a scene with the name of the song so that for that song everything is changed. You can set up as many scenes as you like up to 64 and so you can have uh, four or five standard scenes that you would typically use in uh, a typical service and then have a couple special ones for a particular service for something unusual. So you set up your scenes before the service starts and then you've got your scenes numbered one through five perhaps and you just switch from scene to scene and you don't have to move any of the sliders you don't have to touch any of the mutes it's all preset up you just have to pick which of your presets is appropriate for that moment and this way you can very quickly and easily figure out uh, wh wh where you need to be now when you click on one of the scenes it brings up a, a menu of options and we're going to look at that next. So these are the options that come up when we are looking at this particular uh, scene. So the name of the scene is PPBC, which is the, the church that I'm working at right now. Uh, and so I can either load that scene, which means that that scene will become the active scene. I can save the scene, which means that whatever settings I have currently set up, will become the scene in the memory. I can edit the scene or I can delete the scene. And so it's important to know that when you're loading, you're taking whatever is in the memory that's already saved and you're making that the active current settings. Whenever you hit save, you're taking whatever the active current settings are and saving those as this particular scene. Uh, and then if you want to just delete it entirely, you can delete it. So this way you can move to one of the three or four scenes that we've got set up here or uh, create a new scene and either load what's in memory or save to it whatever is currently active or just delete it entirely. So now that we've seen how you save scenes and how you preserve channels from being altered, we're now going to go and look at what happens when we click on the Shows button. Now we're looking at the page that comes up when we click on Shows. And so we see here that there is My Show and New Show. My Show is the default uh, show that comes up every single time and will always be there. New Show is to add a different show other than the standard default one. What's a show? Well, a show is a collection of scenes. And so you're not here saving one individual scene. You're saving a whole series of scenes together as a show. So if I click on new show and then make changes to a number of my scenes and save that, 
then if I go back to the original my show and reload it, then everything comes back before I made those changes. So you make changes to five different scenes and save them as a show, then those will uh, come back. The thing that's important to remember is that you select the slot and then you save what's currently active in that slot. And so if I uh, click on my show and save to my show, you first create the space and then you fill the space. This is the same way that it works both in scenes and in shows. So the, the, the slots in the Xair Edit application on your PC or Mac, there's 64 slots. You select the slot and then you save something into the slot. If you save something new, if you haven't selected a different slot, it's going to save into the same place. So there's a series of placeholders and then you save information into that placeholder. This can get confusing and if you're not paying attention, it's very easy to overwrite the information that you've already saved. So be clear about what you're saving and when you're saving it to. You create a scene and then you save information into the scene. You create a show and then you save information into that slot you've created that's a show. Now, one of the very most confusing things about all this is that a show is available to you on the Android app, but isn't available to you on the, de on the, the program that you use on a, a PC or a Mac. So the Xair Edit program doesn't have a way to save or to load shows. So the app, the stripped down version for use on a smartphone or a tablet has this functionality. The PC or Mac program, which in all other ways is much more complex and detailed and functional, does not have this functionality. Now, Behringer points out that you can save channels into folders and that folder essentially becomes a show. I may be missing something, but I can't find anywhere that you can load a show without using the app as opposed to the full PC or, or Mac application. This is confusing, and there are many threads uh, in support groups about this, and presumably, eventually, uh, that will be addressed in an upcoming version of the Xair Edit app. But for the time being, if you want to save or load a series of scenes together as a whole, it needs to be done through the Android app. Uh, I'm not familiar with the, uh, the, the iPad app, but it doesn't seem to have this functionality either. So let's take a look at what happens when we click on the My Show button. This is what happens when we click on that My Show button. It brings up our My Show menu. And here again, just like with the scene, we can load, we can save, we can edit, or we can delete. So if you have a show saved and you want to make the show that you have saved in computer memory to be the active show, you load it into the active memory. If you've got uh, a series of scenes that you want to store on the computer, you're going to save that and then all of the active scenes will be saved as the current show or if you want to delete one of your shows you can delete it uh, I've not actually uh, played around with the edit button to find out what that does but presumably it gives you some further options so if you have a show saved and then you want to save another show you first need to click on new show that button create the slot that you're going to save into then you need to save into that slot so we would click on new show, we would name whatever we want our new show to be, and then we would save the settings we currently have set into that slot that we've created. This can all be confusing. Make sure that you're careful when you're saving your information. If you've done a lot of work and you have set everything up just how you like it, be careful because this can be confusing. 
you create the scene, then you save information into the scene. You create the show, then you save information into the slot that you've created that is named whatever show uh, th that, that you want it to be. So play around with this, uh, but make sure that you spend some time figuring out how these saving functions work and their idiosyncrasies before you spend an hour setting everything up exactly how you like it and potentially lose that if you don't understand these settings. Have fun.